Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an updated bookshelf tour. So today I'm finally going to do an updated bookshelf tour for 2021. I did like a um bookshelf tour i think last year when i got my first um bookshelf so if you guys want to you know go check that out the whole building it and organizing it everything you guys can check that out but today we're going to get into this bookshelf tour i also filmed um a reorganization um bookshelf video that you guys can also check that out if you want to but yeah so i can't wait to show you guys um to go in depth of um what my bookshelf looks like right now so let's get into it so first let me give you a quick overview so this is what it looks like so starting from the top i got my gorillas um song machine figure rings i did an unboxing of that so if you guys want to check that out you can but i did um an unboxing of that and i absolutely love these figure rings like <laughs> just the details and everything like I just love it so much so but yeah so on the top I got my gorilla song machine figurines and then I also um put some flowers and um some candles that I thought would look really nice and then I have this Digimon um little figurine thing that I got in the occupancial box oh yeah and around my um bookshelf is um some fairy lights but i have it on the timer and it just went off for the rest of the day so that's why it's not on but on this first um shelf is um the books that i you know really like and um you know it's just books that i really like because <laughs> i used to have like books on both of these shelves and then down here which is at the at the very bottom was just my gaming shelf but um when I started getting like so many more games that bottom shelf just got too crowded so I had to um switch things around and just have the top shelf be for my books and it's actually funny because now I actually want to rearrange this again and just make this entire shelf just for video games <laughs> like I just want to get rid of all my books and just put a bunch of video games but I probably won't do that until I get more you know video games then I'll need you know the extra space but for right now on the top shelf, I have my Funko Pop Morgana from Persona 5. I love it. And then I have this, um, it's the Avengers. I forgot what her name is, but it's the Avengers, uh, Funko Pop of, what's her face? It's the box right here, Sun Young Gamera from Avengers Affinity War. Just had these two Funko Pops sitting here. So over here is my little BL corner. I got a few um, BL books and I really want to, you know, of course, buy some more <laughs> because I really love BL manga. So I really want to um, buy some more whenever I'm able to go to the bookstore and if I have the money. And then over here is um, my Blue Monday graphic novels. I love Blue Monday. It's a um, pretty cool series. Um... And I think there's another, I think there's a fifth book in this series, but it's been like sold out for like the longest, so I haven't been able to get it. And then over here is my hot gimmick. Um, I really wanted to get like the second and the third volume, three and one, because this is uh, three and one. Um, and they have like a second and a third, three and one, so I really want to get that too if, you know, I'm able to one day. But as you can tell, because <laughs> so I got bookmarks, so I read like a little half of it. When I got it and then right here is um another two three and one books um high school debut and Hanakimi so high school debuts I'm sure like I don't know anybody who doesn't know high school debut I feel like that's like one of the um shoju mangas that I feel like most people should know because <laughs> I remember back when I was like in high school and um I remember seeing this manga series um, a lot at the library because I used to go to the library like a lot so I remember seeing like this um, manga series a lot at the library 
And then Hanakimi, I got the Hanakimi manga, even though I never read the Hanakimi manga, but I've seen like the um, live action adaptions. I've seen the um, the Taiwanese adaption and have I seen the Korean adaption? I can't remember. I do um, remember watching the um, Taiwanese adaption, but I can't remember if I've seen like the Korean one. And I think I might have seen a little bit of the Japanese one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, I think the Korean version is called um, To the Beautiful You. If any of you, you know, know or have like seen To the Beautiful You. But yeah, so the Korean live action of this is called To the Beautiful You. So I have seen that and it was really good. Like I really enjoyed it. And then I've also watched um, the Taiwanese version. I can't remember what that was called but that was also pretty good and then I think I watched like a little bit just like the first or second episode of the Japanese one so I haven't even finished that <laughs> but yeah so since I just enjoyed the live action versions of this I just decided you know might as well get the um you know manga the three one <laughs> and then right here is my I think it's two in one um and it's the black edition of Death Note. I really want to get like the second and you know, third and all that. But yeah, I have the black edition. Um, and then right here is my Kingdom Hearts. As you can tell, this is really old. Like this is has been through some things. But I love this. I remember um, my grandpa actually gave it to me back when I was in, I think, elementary school or middle school. So, <laughs> so I haven't had it for a long, long time. But yeah. Um... I love like even though I have never played the games I just love Kingdom Hearts like I love the soundtrack I love this manga um, and I hope one day to finally get the um, video game so then I can finally play it and then right here is Beauty Pop I love Beauty Pop I read it back when I was in I think middle school or high school and so I really wanted to get it um, you know, I wanted to own it because, again, you know, when I used to go to the library a lot when I was in school, I used to, you know, check out the Beauty Pop manga and I used to read it. So now, you know, I really want to try to, like, own it myself. So I'm going to try to get, you know, the second, the third and so forth um, mangas of that. But right now I just have the first manga. And then right here we're going into some more um, graphic novels. So... Right here is Jiggers. So this is really good. I enjoy this um, graphic novel. It's pretty much about, you know, summer camp. Kids at summer camp, you know, romance, drama, all that good stuff. And then here is Friends with Boys. So this is really good too. I got this from um, a book. What do they call it? Back in school, we used to, um, like, buy books from the from the uh, store. I can't remember. Book fair? Oh yeah, that was a book fair. Okay. So it, <laughs> so it was, uh, it's called the book fair, but um, my high school, you know, we had the book fair at the time and I saw this and I was like, I need, and I'm so happy that I got it because this is a really good manga too. And then right here, now some of you might not know this, um, what these two books are unless you played um, the um, mobile games but these two books are chapter books of surviving high school as you can tell the first book is called surviving high school but yeah surviving high school was um pixel berries like um they had another app did they have another app it was like an older version i don't remember but um it was kind of like their first app i think um, because I do remember they had another game, but it was like for the really, really old phones, but I can't remember if it was Survivor High School, but just an older version or what, but either way, Survivor High School was like their first, kind of, <laughs> um, you know, mobile app, and I loved it. I miss it. <laughs> I miss it so much, so I decided to get the two, um, chapter books that this author wrote about surviving high school and it you know talks about the characters from the app and you know just has a bunch of stuff and um did i even finish this i can't even remember i know i finished this and it was really good but i can't remember if i finished this but either way it was really good 
and then over here is my Scott Pilgrim book so this is my Scott Pilgrim um, complete set where it comes with um, you know all six other books and it also came with the poster which I have already shown the poster in my um room tour but yeah so I haven't even gotten a chance to read <laughs> any of these um books but yeah and this is the black and white version because I know that they came out with a color version which I really really wish I could have gotten because now when I look on Amazon they don't really have the color version anymore so it kind of makes me sad <laughs> that I missed out on getting the color version so unfortunately I only have the black and white version but it's okay but I'm gonna take this out and actually show you guys the art on it because I think it looks really cool to see it's like pixel it's pixel art I think it's really cool so yeah I just keep the books in here because I just really um like the little box that comes in and whatnot so that's the first shelf and so now we're moving on I have to get on my knees for this <laughs> so now we're moving on to one of my favorite shelves just because of how I decorated it but this is my Nintendo Switch self so as you can see I have um you know my physical Nintendo Switch games so I have the Stardew Valley Collector's Edition that I got from the Fan Gamer website and it included you know this thing and a bunch of other stuff I did an unboxing of it um, on my channel so you know if you guys want to check that out you can but I went to death of you know what comes in the collector's editions but I love how it looks to me um, this is gonna fall <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I knew, but I wanted to just show you guys, um, I wanted to show you guys what the box looks like, because it looks so amazing, so, yeah, it looks so awesome. But yep, so that's all that was included in it. And as of right now, you guys can still purchase this, I believe. So if you want, you know, you can still purchase this. But the um, unfortunate thing is that you won't be able to get the poster. Because um, this included, you know, a poster with the, um, because I pre-ordered it. So you guys are still able to get this collector's edition. But not, you know, with the poster included. Because you would have had to pre-order this before, um, you know, the pre-order window um was up in order to get a poster but um yeah but the pre poster pretty much is just this front part though but yeah it just looks so beautiful now give me a sec and i'm gonna uh, put this back <laughs> So now next on the list is my collector's edition of 2064 Reolding Memories. And I really like the collector's edition box, but I'm not going to show it to you guys because I already did an unboxing um, also of that um, when I got it. But yeah, so that's my collector's edition box of Reolding Memories. And then um, next I have is Fire Emblem, if you guys can see. I have Fire Emblem three houses now i know a lot of people rave about fire emblem three houses talking about how great it is and all that but personally i got bored of it <laughs> like it's just i don't know it's just i guess maybe the story or something but i just couldn't really get into it so i haven't even played it um since for like a whole entire year but next is pokemon shield i love 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 pokemon shield i don't care what anybody says i enjoy pokemon shield i would say that it's my second favorite um pokemon game after um well actually no my first favorite pokemon game is pokemon ruby but that's because i have a bias with it because <laughs> it was the first pokemon game i ever played so pokemon ruby the original is my um top favorite the second will be x and then the third would be pokemon shield so yeah the next is um my animal crossing new horizons so i stopped playing that but when i did play it was enjoyable but i kind of got bored of the game like anybody else and the next is my ring fit adventure so that's pretty self-explanatory if you guys are into exercising or wanted to get fit it's a good game to play it's really fun next is my nurse love obsession um 
two and one that I got from Limited Run Games. Um, this is also from Limited Run Games. Um, but yeah, so it's just a visual novel. Um, love it. Um, next is 26 Four Real Only Memories. Like I said, <laughs> I got the collector's edition. This is the game case. And then next is Stardew Valley. My Stardew Valley is right here. <laughs> so this is the game case. Um, but yeah, the physical of Stardew Valley. I actually had the physical of the PS4, but I'll show that to you guys later. And then next is House Flipper. So House Flipper is pretty cool if you're um, into, you know, wanting to decorate, you know, clean up houses and all that. Then it's a pretty cool game to play. I got it for the Switch. And then the last physical um, Switch game I have is Tacoma Recut. I just recently got that. Um, and I really wanted like a horror game to play and I got it for my Switch. So yeah. And then over here. I have my Yuri uh, from Yuri on Ice Funko Pop that I got from Akibento. Over here is my, I think Star Wars or Star Trek little gremlin or whatever it's called. I really like it. It's black and red. I got it from Hot Topic. Over here is my Stardew Valley guidebook. It's the third edition and I really like it. And then over here is the little, um, Stardew Valley stand that is really cute and I'm so happy I was able to display it on this shelf with you know my stuff so yeah and then down here is my second uh, favorite shelf because it has like a all of my um, PlayStation games so up front is my PS Vita like my PS Vita is my favorite um console how console i got the psp i did in a box of that if you guys want to go check it out you can but yeah i got the psp um technically it's the hannah montana i didn't even know it <laughs> like i legit didn't even know that hannah montana came out with a um psp but yeah technically this is the hannah montana version but um the color is lavender so it's the psp 3000 the lavender Ham hannah montana edition and i love it and then right here is my Dragon Ball Z Goku I got from Akibento. And then my Ryuk, uh, Ryuk Funko Pop I also got from Akibento. It's my favorite, like, favorite, favorite Funko Pop that I have. That I love it so much. So we're going to start over here. This is my PS Vita collection. So I have um majority of these are um visual novels <laughs> and if, if any of you guys um you know play visual novels you especially for the vita you might recognize these but yeah so majority of these are um visual novels nor and nine of our comments um Steinscape, persona 4 i highly recommend if any of you have um a vita or they now have it on Steam, but I highly recommend you guys play Persona 4 Golden. It is God tier. I'm telling you, like I enjoy it way more than Persona 5. I know like a lot of people love Persona 5, but technically, um, but to me, I um, prefer Persona 4 Golden. I just love the story so much. I love the characters, like especially the characters, especially the gang. Like I love them. I love the love interest. I just, I love... <laughs> And um, speaking of Persona 4 Golden, I did pre ordered because um, Good Smile Company um, just came out um, at the end of last month. They just came out with the Yu uh, Narakumi, I think that's how you say his last name, but they came out with the Persona 4 Golden protagonist, Nin um, Nindoroid. And I pre ordered that and I can't wait to get it. Of course, I'll be doing the boxing, of course. <laughs> but yeah, once I get it, because it's not going to be shipped out until December, so I got like a long, long time to wait. But I am so excited to get that because that will be my first uh, Nindoroid. And I'm pretty happy that the Persona 4 Golden protagonist will be my first Nindoroid. So enough about that <laughs> i'm just going to be going on and on about persona 4 golden but next i have the um hakaoki ps vita games i have uh psychedelic of the black butterfly and of uh, the ashton hawk uh starting gig zero root letter color malice seven scarlet battle wars Pure cube and chaos child and then over here i have my um psp games that i have so far so 
I have the um, PSP version of the Hakaoki games. I have the Demon the Fleet and Boss and I also have the Hack and Slash which I honestly did not know. Like I literally did not know that um, there was like a Hack and Slash Hakaoki game for the PSP so as soon like when I found that out, I knew I need to like have it. So I had the hack and slash and I have the visual novel of Hakaoki. And then this, um, these three are Japanese um, Ultimate games. So they are in Japanese only, but I do use, um, not Google Translate, Google Translate is trash, but I use another translator app that's way better than Google Translate. So I do use the app to like help me like understand the, um, you know what the characters are saying but yeah three of these are um japanese games as you could tell by the little stamp at the bottom um and i cannot pronounce <laughs> like i don't even remember like what both of these are called but this is you know black code because it says on the front but yeah and i do want to get some more japanese ultimate games one day and so now we're coming over here to my um uh, ps4 collection i have a huge collection so right here I have um, some custom steel books. So actually, let me show you guys um, what these steel books look like. So I got this custom until dawn steel book from a seller off of Macari who does um, custom um, steel book cases for video games. So I got this, and I absolutely love it it is amazing and if i could like open it up and this is what the inside looks like so yeah i really like it and then this is the cyberpunk custom steel book so yeah it looks pretty awesome they had like a um, couple other different designs but i like this way more I can even get this open <laughs> and then I'll just put my game in the inside for easy access so yeah those are my two custom steel books and then right here I have um, Uncharted, Sleeping Dogs um, Persona 5, Walking Dead Collection, Stardew Valley, so that's my uh, physical Stardew Valley uh, for the PS4, uh, Core Real Life, Bouquet of Rainbows, The Last of Us, the first one, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, Life is Strange 2, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Detroit, Become Human, um, Dragon Age Inquisition, Until Dawn, Shimu 1, and also uh, Shimu 1 and 2 and 3. I'm going to join Shimu, um, the Shimu games right now. I'm currently playing the second one because I finished the first one like a couple days ago. And then over here is my Cyberpunk um, little game case thing. It came with like little extras. I did an unboxing of that. And then here is my Life is Strange Before the Storm Limited Edition. Um, I really like this. And then this is my The Last of Us 2 Special Edition, which comes with the, um, you know, digital goodies and, um, digital goodies and, um, the steelbook case. I guess I could, well, I was going to say, I guess I could show you guys the steelbook case, but I did an unboxing of this, so you could just go watch that. <laughs> but yeah, so, that is my entire bookshelf. So, yeah, I really like it, and um, once I, like, get some more space, once um, I really do want to, like, buy another bookshelf so I can have more space, but, yeah, this is pretty much it for right now, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little bookshelf tour and everything. Let me know what you guys have in your bookshelf. Do you have games or books or both or, you know, whatever, so, yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video.